Hello everyone. So we are back with the update on US mainnet launch. So I think a lot of people are wondering what's going on. So we wanted to have a quick look. As I explained in my previous video, it will be a slow process. It's not something uh, you should be like popping champagne and saying, oh, if something happened and you will start seeing any particular results. Uh, it's a software launch process. A lot of community is coming together. But before we jump into the details, uh, as uh, it's already 20 hours since the US tokens are frozen, uh, the price is uh, now settling down below $15. It was a huge jump. We were seeing a lot of new volumes coming in. So if you look at uh, the coin market cap in last, uh, uh, f uh, actually if you go to a more closer look at the last uh, day or so, you will see that there's a big bump in last 24 hours. Almost uh, $2 billion worth of uh, EOS has been traded which is huge you know, from the perspective that recently the volumes were not that high and especially with the wallets frozen, frozen it's uh, amazing that uh, still the volumes are jumping. Um, so it's an interesting move. I think uh, we are seeing a lot of last minute buying, some people selling into this move. So do not worry about this. Again, as I said, explained it in previous videos, this is local trading. Now the wallets are frozen. All the trading is happening on individual exchanges. So let's see if there is a lot of discrepancy in the market price. Interestingly, uh, the market price is very much uh, similar across different exchanges. There's a minor uh, peak you can see in some of the exchanges where they are going little higher, maybe another uh, 2 to 3 percent. But I think overall uh, market is following uh, the same price movement. Uh, so that is interesting. Now coming back to the main net launch. So what is happening? So first of all, the block producers had to validate the snapshot and uh, what happened is EOS authority has already created, updated uh, like mainnet snapshot based tool and uh, the good thing is that a lot of people have come together. Uh, so there's an update from USIO Hong Kong that all these people are working together uh, which included US Tribe, US DAC and so on uh, and US Rio which was uh, driving the, as we discussed in last, last time, they were driving the secure boot uh, under a VPN and they were calling it the Ghostbuster Secure. So that is something uh, uh, which we, we I want you to note before I take you to the next item where uh, they have confirmed uh, this is the GitHub of uh, EOS Cafe and uh, they have declared that all these uh, block producers have actually verified snapshot and matched uh, with each other. So this is what, uh, so what was the process? So the process was that all these people are working from the same snapshot and many of these, as you can see, US New York, which is a very big block producer, uh, US Authority, as we have been tracking, they have been one of the big community member in terms of providing tools. And US Rio, which is actually leading um, uh, the secure boot and the Ghostbuster uh, secure protocol. And what that means is that this is these are the block producers which have maximum community support. And now they have actually started the process of uh, launching because the first step for launch was to make sure that everybody has the same uh, token values against each of the people. So that is the most important thing before you start the first block production. Because if you may have a mismatch, uh, then it can be an Im impossible event where you are you don't know uh, what is the right uh, data set to you are starting with. So now this, is, this was declared a few hours back. So we believe that now the process is ongoing in terms of code, uh, booting of the code and so on. What you can do right now is uh, uh, go to this US Authority website again, enter your Ethereum wallet and uh, you can again verify that uh, uh, whatever if you made some registration in the last minute or if you made some changes, uh, you should again cross validate whether the snapshot included your tokens or not. And uh, this is again usauthority.com, nothing special. This is on their main page and uh, you put your Ethereum wallet and you will see what is your balance on the main net uh, snapshot. And the good thing is US Authority is one of the leading uh, uh, currently block producer which is uh, partnering with everybody else uh, who is uh, believed to be uh, the front runner to declare the main net uh, uh, in terms of getting the maximum votes. So uh, if you know that US New York has been doing a lot of work, US DAC they distributed their tokens and uh, they have been actually uh, a very big candidate for uh, getting selected and uh, US Authority all these are very very big block producers. Now uh, when I say big, again, that means that they have a lot of community support, they have been doing a lot of work and they're well known by people and uh, they may get a maximum vote. Now, 
uh, US Asia, which has a huge amount of vote, um, if they have not communicated with these people, that is, I think, one of the biggest worry because when you say US Asia, this is like China, Korea, they have a lot of tokens. Um, they are right now uh, quite silent. I would investigate after this video maybe uh, what we can find. But the thing is, this is the risk which they, they might be launching another parallel chain, which uh, we don't know yet. Um, so there are always, uh, it's, a, it's a democratic world, you will see these things going forward. We already know that Evolution is doing another chain. Um, there is no update from them. I'm not liking the chatter on their Telegram page. Uh, I'm actually given, I have given up uh, my hopes on Evolution being even a real project. Um, but anyway, they are going ahead with the airdrops. Uh, they are still trying to get community support. Uh, so we will see how that pans out. But uh, overall, coming back to the main US, uh, I would say these are the lead candidates uh, who are trying to get this uh, main net uh, up and running. But remember, even after they bring up this uh, main net, there will be a continuous voting. We talked about it yesterday. We talked about it in previous videos. So this is not something that US Asia or anybody else, all the block producers which are globally working, they can always come and join based on the voting. So once this um, uh, main net comes up and once the 15% votes are casted, after that, you will see that every 126 seconds, every two minutes or so, uh, you can have a complete change of uh, this whole set of block producers. So, uh, but I think it's most important that the first valid chain launches and uh, we get a uh, US uh, uh, confirmed as a starting point. So I think that is, uh, again, a slow process. Enjoy your weekend. Don't worry about it. Uh, and, like, you know, don't try to look for news. Actually, no news is good news because uh, while this launch is happening, the only minute by minute news you can expect is if there is an attack or if uh, something happens, uh, which is not good. So this is, otherwise it's a, it's a database process. It's a syncing up, like all these block producers coming together, trying to form the nodes and getting to that uh, uh, status when the voting starts. They will announce it. I am expecting that to happen sometime later in the day or maybe it may take a more than a day uh, when they are ready to say that, okay, now you can go and vote. Again, coming back to the voting itself, I do not recommend any small investors to, uh, to start looking into voting. Um, you will have your chance to change this later. Let the community come together. Unless you are working with somebody with some big block producer and you know exactly how to keep your private keys safe. Uh, don't enter your keys anywhere for voting or for claiming your tokens. Uh, the blockchain world, you don't. There is no need to hurry. Once you are in the snapshot, once you have validated uh, in this uh, tool uh, that your tokens have been allocated to you, even if you come after one year and you claim, you will still have the same balance. So nobody can change it. It's a public information once the snapshot is taken. And uh, this is something you need to understand. So there's no hurry. There will be scammers lurking around looking for you to enter your private key in something uh, which uh, you don't want to. Because that means if you lose your private key, you lose everything. One more thing is, um, uh, so this is something which we talked about earlier. So there are 98.8% people who explicitly registered and they own their own private keys. If you are unfortunately in this 1%, which is in fallback, that means uh, maybe why it may happen, it may happen because you registered a wallet but then you moved your token to another wallet and you forgot to register that wallet and you were under impression that you already registered. So these are around 1% of those people and uh, I would say don't worry about it. There will be tools available. Again, don't hurry but because there will be a lot of people who will try to catch this 1%. 1% is huge in a, uh, when you are talking about billions of dollars of worth uh, of tokens. Um, that US currently holds in terms of uh, the value, in terms of market cap. So even this 1% is a big, big reward for any um, scammer to tell you that, oh, if you are not able to see your tokens with your key uh, Ethereum wallet, that means that uh, you are under fallback and let me help you and asking you for Ethereum private key. So any private key, Ethereum or EOS, don't put anywhere in any tool. Uh, again, if you are part of this fallback, you will get it later. Uh, if you are unregistered, I don't know, there's a very, very small amount, 0.3%, but in uh, value term, maybe it is big, maybe these are lost tokens, maybe these people are not even tracking. Uh, so, because the fallback captured everything which uh, were in the token where actually there was a transaction in uh, going out of the Ethereum wallet. But some people may have just bought it and forgot it, they never sent any transaction out of those wallets. So, 
those again uh, we are still trying to figure out what will happen to this point of three to percent but it's a very small number so i hope that none of uh, you have uh, that problem so again your action item right now is only to go check at your authority well, what is your balance whether you got properly included in the snapshot if you have multiple wallets check all your wallets um, because i'm sure some people are just trying to hedge their bets like not putting everything in one wallet then you should test all your wallets only put your pri public key here don't put any private keys anywhere and keep your private keys secure um, match your us public key whatever shows up once you click this link and the tokens and um, just hold them tight then uh, I think the price terms, I, it's going very f good. I think we have some correction. It's going to be up and down. Uh, there's nothing great happening. Remember, even though it's a main net launch, um, at least people are not selling in the hype. A um, lot of people have uh, uh, this in their exchanges. So one thing which uh, I was hearing is that uh, some top 10% of uh, the US, so top 10 wallets have actually 50% of US tokens, and which is expected because uh, the truth is, that uh, when we talk about us uh, wallets uh, they are like exchange wallets a lot of exchanges had uh, us so uh, this is uh, some of the news which is happening so i think overall don't worry about all that that there are big whales and so on i believe that uh, it's a very well distributed token and now the new airdrops are coming so remember that uh, every pedia which is uh, just uh, uh, announced so just give me a second i will try to uh, get uh, my every pedia site opened so i don't think they have updated it here but i saw it on the telegram unfortunately my window is not open yet um, i had a crash just before recording this video so i could not uh, show you so what is happening with every every pedia is uh, they have confirmed that you will get uh, 5.1 token for every one us token so their total supply they have set it around uh, 10 billion tokens as you know that where how they are going to do it is uh, you will uh, they will reward people who are contributing as an editor um, with the token with the iq token so they are giving more than 50 percent uh, of the token supply to the eos holders and then they are uh, going to continuously mine, uh, mine these tokens when people actually contribute and uh, create uh, more and more content so this is going to create value in long run I think uh, uh, they are working with a lot of exchanges I, and they are opening up uh, this page. Once the US uh, launch happens, they will move their backend to the block, US blockchain and that will make it easy for them to distribute tokens. They are working very hard. They have updated that they are ready to migrate to US and uh, the start of the airdrop is going to happen sometime in second half of June. So uh, they are expecting it to be completed by maybe end of June. So you will start seeing like 5.1 token for every eos token uh, you hold uh, in your uh, eos wallets so again that will be for directly going to eos chain and do not expect it to show up in your um, uh, my ether wallet or your ethereum wallets uh, whatever you are using uh, so this will mostly be uh, when you are ready with your eos wallets and we will update you when is it safe to access that uh, so this is the biggest uh, airdrop which uh, i think they got a clarification and now we know that uh, uh, we will get like uh, 5.1 uh, every PDA token for every US token. So these are some of the updates. Um, we will continue looking at how this uh, more and more block producers join. I think it will take a few days. And if there's a conflict, if there are more uh, mainnet uh, uh, appearing out of Asia or somewhere else, there may be then a need for voting and clarifying that um, which is the real mainnet. Uh, overall i think uh, everything is going smooth at least there is no because these guys were working under a vpn so they are pretty much safe they are not getting attacked uh, i'm still waiting for news on other block producer effort and if there is anybody who is uh, uh, able to verify the snapshot and ready to join uh, this mainnet so again uh, just uh, enjoy your weekend i think there's the news will trickle in slowly it may take at least two to three days uh, before actual mainnet emerges and then there's a lot of work ahead for community they have to create wallets uh, which are safe they have to create voting portals uh, which are safe already voting portals as we talked about are emerging but they are still not secure and uh, people are uh, not really recommending you to vote uh, so 15 percent vote is uh, something which uh, we are waiting for when we and that once this uh, mainnet code is launched after the uh, now that the first step is completed uh, the snapshots are verified uh, we will wait for uh, uh, them to declare that uh, everything is validated 
and ready to the, for voting to start. So thanks for joining. I hope um, you are not getting too anxious about it because uh, you may make mistakes. So just be careful. Uh, do not try to click too many links. There are a lot of uh, news around the scams which are happening. Uh, as you know that uh, we covered some news around uh, how some of the people got emails from blog.1 which were when their servers were hacked and so there are a lot of ways uh, you can get scammed right now as long as you keep your private key secure just wait and watch uh, maybe the next few days it may take even a week before uh, some real tools emerge and we have a proper uh, US blockchain setup as a mainnet. Uh, thanks for joining. Uh, please send us your feedback and uh, let us know what you want us to answer or cover in the next video. We will try to do that by end of today or tomorrow. Uh, or if there is any big news, we will definitely cover that. So th again, uh, uh, have a good weekend and let's hope that uh, this goes as smooth as it is going right now and we don't have any major hiccups. Thank you. Bye-bye.